Hey everybody, welcome to collegecandy.com, it's Caitlin. Today I'm going to talk to you about lashes and mascara, curling your lashes, all that good stuff. When it comes to mascara, you really want to find out what you're looking for and what you want it to do. I have really long eyelashes, so I don't look for a mascara to lengthen them, I look for volume and curling. Um, and there are a lot of charts and things, um, especially if you go to Sephora, they have that little mascara wall where you can, it tells you like what mascaras do what. So you really want to look for things that appeal to you. If you have shorter lashes, you want something that's going to lengthen them. Um, if your lashes stick out straight, you want a curling mascara. I have currently been using, um, as always, my Dior Show Blackout, which is probably my favorite mascara ever. Um, and I still love it. I haven't been using as much because I haven't been wearing mascara a lot um, during the summer, but this is definitely my go-to. Um, I'll probably use it forever. And it adds a lot of volume, curls, makes your lashes super dark. So Dior makes great mascaras. I highly recommend it um, for a high-end brand. I got this little sample of Makeup Forever Smoky Lash, which I had never used before, um, but it says that it it adds volume, length, and curl, and I've noticed all of those things. I actually have it on right now, and you can tell my lashes are exceptionally full and long. Um, so if you have time to check this out, I definitely would. Um, this came in my sample bag from my VIB beauty card, but um, you know you can add samples and stuff on their website. Um, if you're part of their program and if you're not part of their program you should be because you get lots of cool stuff when you make a purchase. For anyone who likes drugstore brand, um, I love Maybelline and CoverGirl, but I've been falling absolutely in love with this NYC Showtime Mascara. And I got this um, a couple months ago, I've been testing out recently, um, and it's a volumizing mascara, but I've noticed it's very similar to Dior Show. So this is like a fraction of the price of Dior Show um, and it works just as well. This is in extreme black. Um, you know, it's a good size. I haven't run out of it yet. I've been using it a lot. It doesn't flake. Um, it doesn't smudge or anything like that. So this is definitely a good option. As far as mascara is concerned, you don't want it to be clumpy. You want it to look as natural as possible. So there are a couple tools that you want to make yourself look a lot more natural. I really cringe when people have crunchy um, eyelashes or when they've got so much mascara on that it's just obvious. So you shouldn't be able to really tell if someone has mascara on. So you want to get one of these eyelash combs and it's got these little spikes on it um, and they look really sharp. These are pretty sharp. This is by Sonia Kushuk. This is one of her professional tools you can get at Target. This, you basically just take it and you rake it after you're done with your uh, application and you just rake it through your lashes and it helps pull them apart to make it a little less clumpy and to, you know, feather them out and make makes your eyes look a lot bigger too. So you definitely want to get one of these tools. You can get a cheaper one. This I think was $14. Um, you can get one of the plastic ones if you're too afraid of these little teeth. Another thing that you're going to need is an eyelash curler. Um, this is by Revlon. I, um, I've i heard really good things about this shoe, Umera one, but I'm not really willing to pay a ton of money for an eyelash curler because I don't usually use mine that often, but I use it a lot on special occasions or if I'm going out. Um, but this one by Revlon was probably like $8. Um, and you do want to make sure that you save the replacement bands and pick up an extra pack because you want to um, make sure that you're replacing that every couple of months um, or cleaning it at least. But, you know, eyelash curlers aren't scary. You just put it on your lashes and push down and then kind of crease up as you go. You never want to just put it directly on your eyelashes and clamp down in one spot. You kind of want to gradually pull out um, because otherwise it's going to crease and you're going to look really weird. One really good tip that I use for my eyelash curler is I heat it up with a blow dryer for about like 10 seconds. Um, you have to be careful because it does get really hot so make sure you're not putting it on the handle part. Just kind of um, point the nozzle out like this at your, um, at your eyelash curler. So it'll heat up and it's going to curl your eyelashes a lot faster. 
a lot of times you'll see girls walking around and they get the mascara imprints on um, you know their eyebrows like kind of far up so to avoid that if you're just going to be wearing mascara put on a primer before you go out because you don't want those nasty little marks on your eyes um, you don't have to have eye makeup on to use a primer you can use it just because um, you know if you have oily skin your eyelids are going to get oily that runs the risk of you getting those marks on your um, eyebrows so definitely put on like a clear primer or a skin color primer even if you're just wearing mascara because it's going to help it last a lot longer it's not going to smudge all over your face so please do that that's a good tip you can even use concealer or put a setting powder on your eyes um, before you go out. If you guys have any suggestions for mascaras that you like, please leave them in the comments below. And as usual, please leave your questions, comments, and ideas. And don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube. Follow us on Twitter at College Candy. Follow me at Caitlin Corsetti. I want you guys to send in more suggestions for video ideas because we're running a little bit low. So please send those in. We've got some awesome product reviews coming up and tutorials and things like that. So please keep your ideas coming. I'm happy to hear them. And if you have any questions about anything else, please don't hesitate to ask. And I will see you guys next week.